It was something at the time that the school were heavily investing in. Uh, I wasn't chosen for the first round of people to be trained, but I could already see the benefits of using the G Suite apps quite early on before having the training. So I was lucky when I did have the training a couple of months later, I had a good grasp of how to use the G Suite apps already and had already started embedding some of those uh, ideas into my own teaching. Completing the level one training has really given me the confidence to experiment and try new things using the G Suite apps in my teaching. In particular, at this challenging time during lockdown, it's meant that I need to be reliant on the skills that I've learned from the course and then the level one training. I am hopefully moving on to the level two training over the next couple of months as well to really develop my knowledge of the G Suite apps. Two Google Apps in, in particular have stood out for me over the last couple of months since my training. The main one has to be Google Sites. Google Sites has allowed me to bring all of the resources together that I have and then other members of my department have. And we can put them all in one place and visually looks great so we can present those to our classes and there's consistency in what we're all teaching across the department. The second thing that's really impressed me recently is Screencastify. What Screencastify has allowed me to do is I can show examples and in particular audio examples of pupils' work giving feedback and it's also allowed me to set work that would normally be quite challenging and quite difficult to understand. So it's allowed me to visually demonstrate that piece of work and hopefully it's extending the pupils' learning even further than I normally could have.